Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Today, I guess the title of the video will be, uh, Do You Value Relationships? Or, Do You Not Value Relationships and Will Just Casually Discard? And kind of excommunicate uh, people from your lives. <clears throat> well, as I've gotten older, I suppose I should have gotten more mature and a little wiser. But I guess uh, in some ways I got a little more sensitive and a little more emotional too. And uh, I find it very sad that uh, so many times here on YouTube I felt that uh, I've kind of bonded uh, uh, through fellowship with other believers and uh, for one reason or another uh, the relationship is, is ended and uh, they're gone. Uh, there are some good reasons to sever relationships, but then there are many uh, reasons that do not justify that. So, I guess I just want to uh, ask you, uh, uh, do you really place any value on these relationships that we form here on YouTube and in the body? Let's for a moment take a look at... Uh, Genesis chapter 18, you can recall that Abram was uh, negotiating with God. And he negotiated all the way down to ten righteous. God said, yes, even for ten righteous, he would spare the city. In other words, he he valued the relationship of even 10 people enough that he would spare the city for the sake of just 10. And I don't know if uh, anybody can cite a, a scripture that makes this point, but I, uh, I've heard it said, and I, I believe it's true, that Jesus Christ would have willingly suffered and died on that cross for even one of us. That's how much God values a relationship with us. And I would hope that we believers would also value the relationships of the saints. But I'm finding that it's it's all too common to for people to just get up and leave no goodbyes, no explanations, just disappear out of people's lives after maybe weeks or months or even sometimes years of fellowship here on YouTube. So I have uh, noticed over the last three or four years or so that I've been on YouTube. By the way, I've never closed my account. I've never dropped out even for weeks or months and just gone off and separated myself. Uh, and I don't want to put myself up on some pedestal that I'm somehow superior to others who've, who needed to do that. But I, I do believe that it is not necessary to cope with the problems on YouTube, to uh, in, in, in order to cope with the problems, we do not have to drop out, leave, close accounts. But over time, uh, I, I've become friends. I I thought I was friends uh, with uh, numerous people. I, and, and these, some of these people, I've, I've sensed from their videos and their comments that they were becoming discouraged. 
they they were hurt because of uh, sometimes the unbelievers attack them. Sometimes fellow believers attack them over disagreements in doctrine, and they they have a hard time coping with with that. And sometimes they are offended, even when people disagree with them. But there's not really an attack. It's uh, sometimes these disagreements are uh, are expressed kindly and maturely. And even then, some people are so offended that someone would question them. And because they're offended, they get uh, angry, bitter, hurt feelings, Uh, I've tried to counsel and uh, help other believers in order to cope with these these issues. I even made a video recently. Uh, it's uh, how to use YouTube without going crazy. Uh, in spite of these efforts, and in spite of that video, uh, I, I'm amazed that, that people still will just drop out and apparently place no value on the friendships. Not only me personally, but, but many other people who may have developed friendships, or at least I thought they were friendships. Um, I, I valued them. Perhaps I'm just deluded to think that I have real friendships and real relationships here on YouTube. But uh, I believe that uh, if, if it is a, a real friendship, and, it's valued. A person should not just suddenly close their accounts and disappear. No goodbyes, no explanations. And then sometimes they will reappear and mysteriously, you know, you discover that they've reappeared, but uh, Maybe, maybe I am uh, taking this too, um, too seriously, or maybe I'm, I am deluded thinking that these relationships are more than they really are. But I just need to get this off my chest because uh, I also have my feelings hurt. But what I, what I've learned to do is, if someone is mean-spirited, or uh, they're, uh, they are, I've deemed that they are, um, uh, it's unproductive and uh, I, I cannot be around people f for uh, a, a good reason, then, then I will block them. But I'm not going to drop out of YouTube and separate my, end my relationship with all the good people, all, all those that, that are, uh, doing good works, have good ministries here on YouTube, and I would never think of just severing the contacts with all those people. So there are, there are justifiable reasons to uh, stop interacting with some individuals, but I don't think there is a justifiable reason to completely drop out because maybe you're just not mature enough to, to cope with uh, scrutiny. Well, those are my thoughts on this, and I, I hope that uh, before you uh, would just close your account and leave and disappear, that uh, you will think about this and uh, at least 
say goodbye to those of us who've become fond of you. All right. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.